Hey guys, it is springtime here in Greenville, South Carolina. So that means it is about to be real estate's busiest season. So you're probably already thinking about sprucing up the yard and decluttering inside your house. And you're definitely thinking about that if your intention is to move in the next few months. So here are a couple of our tips and tricks for you to refresh your house, especially if your intention is to move the next few months. So guys, the first thing that I do when I'm spring cleaning is I start with the landscaping outside. I dust off the mower. I take time to scalp the yard for example, refreshing all of the mulch, I'm putting perennial flowers out, I'm pressure washing the house, especially if we're thinking about moving as well. If I'm in a neighborhood that has a lot of trees and the gutters are filled, you're gonna wanna take the time when you're pressure washing the house, whether you do it yourself or hire somebody else to do that, to go ahead and clean out those gutters. And it's also a good maintenance thing, whether you're moving or not. We also carry this over into our living spaces. So if you have a lot of furniture and that's just how you live, that's okay. But if you're also thinking about moving, we're going to want to limit some of that furniture especially if it's larger in a space, because the lens, again, is big, bright, and open. We wanna take time to even wipe down the windows, all the top of the windowsills, things that you don't normally think about doing. Take the time this year to do that, especially if you're moving. The buyers are gonna see the difference between your house and one that didn't take the time to do it. This also translates into the kitchen. If you have a lot of items on your countertops, this is what we tell potential sellers as well. You might wanna leave maybe the butcher block of knives, maybe a couple of cooking utensils, and that's pretty much it. Maybe one coffee maker off to the side as well. Also clear off all of your dishes and the dish rags, put them away. What we're doing here guys is we're allowing that potential buyer to see themselves in your space. This also means taking things off the top of the cabinets as well, whether it's dishes or pottery, it doesn't really matter what it is. Ultimately, we don't want them to be distracted by that. We wanna help them see that space. So guys, that was just a few tips and tricks. If you wanna have a deeper conversation about what that looks like for your specific house, we're happy to have that conversation. And as always, remember with Delisle Properties, luxury always comes standard.